Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be unboxing the Brother MFC J 6925DW color inkjet printer. And I have to admit, you know, I'm pretty excited about this for a number of reasons. Uh, one is we haven't done a Brother in a while. And two, this is a really special printer for a number of reasons. And I have to, I have to stress that and if you've watched the videos before, I don't really get too excited about anything. And, uh, you know, that's mainly because I've been testing printers since uh, a printer was a typewriter with a, a piano roll and mechanical keys pushed on the keys. So, you know, you, you've been looking, I've been looking at printers for so long it's really hard to get excited, but this one is really, really special. So let's count down the ways. First of all, it, it does scan, print, copy, and fax in color. Duplex scan, duplex print, up to 1117 originals and 1117 media. So this is a, a true A3 printer. Uh, you know, it's got all those really outstanding features uh, Brothers nor normally has. Uh, one of them is a single pass duplexing document feeder where the original one has to go through once and it scans both sides simultaneously. But the one that's really, uh, one feature that's really uh, the most exciting is that this is um, called Business Class Ink Vestment printer. So what does investment mean? It means that ink cost per page, color ink for an ISO page, is, I mean, uh, it, it, it's the lowest ISO color cost per page that I've ever seen. And this uses four individual cartridges. Uh, the, the yield on the cartridges is um, I have super high yield cartridges. The black is 2,400 pages, and the color cartridges, the CYM cartridges, are 1,200 pages each. So this thing, this printer has everything, and it retails for three, three forty nine ninety nine. May sound expensive. For example, we just tested a a thirty five dollar printer and the cost per page was 20, 20 plus cents. 20 cents. So you know, you buy a 30, $35 printer and pay 20 cents a page, how long is it gonna, how long is it gonna be before it, you've spent $350, which is the purchase price of this thing? It was only a printer, it couldn't scan. Uh, ink cartridges only held, only held like 100, enough ink for 100, 200 pages. So this thing is really, really uh, something else. Let's look, let me shut up and let's get going on this. It's a huge box. Uh, it's a big printer because it does uh, 1117 scanning and printing. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, paper path, the orientation of the paper path and how the media gets loaded. The, the top of the box has instructions to show you how to repack, which is nice, it's upside down. This is really nice. It'll help me when I gotta send this back. And it also recommends that you get two people to lift it out. I'm all by my lonesome, so I'm gonna have to do it by myself. Okay, on top we have a fax, fax line, fax phone line, plug is already attached, it's not floating around in here by itself. Underneath this cardboard is
is the four ring cartridges and a big ass, big black cartridge, and thinner color cartridges. I'll get it open. I don't want to destroy the bag because I have to reuse it. Okay, and in this bag we have the CD ROM. Windows 8.1, XP to 8.1, and Mac. OS X 10.6.8.7 and 8. A um, little piece of paper that mentions that there's a quiet mode feature to reduce printing noise. Some risk free, free trials of brother, uh, brother online meetings. Manage information, print scan, cloud storage, some information on mobile applications, uh, a, a document that's asking you to register the printer at brother.com, um, a document asking you to use Brother Genuine Annabelle Inc. and for Half a cent a page, there's no reason to screw around with any other ink. Absolutely. Refilling, all that stuff is insanity when you can get original ink at a half cent a page, color page. And then here's the start here guide. And this other package has, it looks like a printed, which is something that they don't, nobody does this anymore. It's a product safety guide and a printed basic user guide. And it's, um, it's pretty incredible that it's all in English and it's 208 pages long and it's a printed manual. That you never see this anymore. If you do, half of it's French or a third of it's French, or the third is Spanish. It's even got tabs here so on the edge so you can open up to appendix and the tabs line up with the sections. You can see the bleed through here. Amazing get excited about a manual, it's just uh, something you, just, you don't even get manuals anymore. So, some machines don't even give you CD-ROMs anymore. So, got a, a removable styrofoam here. Another thick cardboard maintenance sheet. Do not throw, throw away. And this is I, I really don't know, but it has something to do with cleaning the... Oh, okay. What it, what it does is you feed it through the... There's a, a bypass on the, on the side, or you can feed it... A manual feed slot on the side of the unit on the back to find out. And you put this in here, and then it feeds through, and if there's any junk in there, it'll take it out. That's also unusual and pretty cool. Alright, so this is one big printer. And 
but I'm, instead of showing you what it looks like once I drag it out of the box, I'm going to put it directly on the on the table. Uh, it's got a taped closed back here. Are already attached, which is unusual. It's not really that heavy that you need two people. And there's, I don't even see one piece of tape. How awesome is that? This is one hunk of a prime. Can you get it up on the table and then we'll uh, start the second part setting it up. Okay, back's a little stiff from lifting that out. And I uh, also uh, want to apologize for the humming air conditioner. It's uh, hot in New Jersey in May already. Hot enough for I have to run the air conditioner. Uh, I'll be sweating to death in this lab coat. Anyway, is it, this here it is. It's a, it's a, it's a beauty. It's got a 3.7 inch touch screen. It's adjustable touch panel, the only hard key is a power key. I, I can't believe there's no tape on this thing. I mean, it's incredible. It's just incredible. I've never, I've never tested a printer where I didn't have to mess around with a whole bunch of tape and a whole bunch of gazettes and dangles and everything else. And even embossed on the side here. Shows two people picking it up. Way to go, brother. This, this thing is cool. And I don't know if you actually like the white part of it, but and, um, certainly not going to be showing up fingerprints anytime soon because the sip and gloss black printers that hopefully have gone out of style. All right, there's in the back, there's really nothing but you know, get into the duplex unit here and hit the rear portion of the paper path. Here's your manual feed slot. It has a, it's a single sheet, photo, 4x6, photo L to um, 11 by 17. All right, another, I remember what the, what the brothers is. First of all, the power cable is permanently attached. And second of all, you see this hole here? When, if, you, when, if you run any cables into the unit, the, a USB, the fax, uh, the network cables, they go into this hole and they get routed inside. We'll look at that a little bit later. And I'm going to include a little sticker to show you so you don't get confused. Where do I plug it in? How do I plug it in? So, let's look at the start here guide. And it's telling me what's in the box. Two people will lift it out. No wonder I got a backache. <laughs> Unbelievable. Step one is unpack it. Step two is plug it in. I mean, I'm going to say it again. 
even the littlest printers, there's all this tape, cardboard things everywhere, plastic things jammed in every little orifice. And this, step one is take out of the box, and step two is plug it in. And in here it says lift open the scanner unit. And then plug in the network cable and the fax cables. If your fingers work, turn the page. Next step is to load media. And this is all load media. I must have missed the cartridge installation someplace. Let's go back to the page. Okay. First thing you do is plug it in, then install the ink cartridges and it shows you how to do that. Then more ink cartridges, then put in the paper and then check the print quality. Set the date and time, set the paper settings. Review the touchscreen display, choose your language. Choose the correct receiver mode. That's for your fax. More fax, more fax. More fax. Set the time zone. Choose your connection type. So this is going to walk us through this stuff and then finally after you choose your connection type goes into what to do for Windows USB and um, don't, don't plug in the cable till you're prompted for USB etc. So I'm going to go through this is like goes into Macintosh, wireless, Windows, Macintosh, quick setup guide that has 45 pages. And no, no screwing around here from brother. Amazing. Okay, let's plug it in. Well, actually, there's a few plastic things we need to remove here. It doesn't look too serious. Big, giant platen. Take out this piece of plastic. Now, 1117 original is going to fit on this glass. A3 original is going to fit on this glass. It also has a automatic single scan duplex scanner that will hold up to 1117. Nice. Originals. And we got this one piece of protest protective plastic to take off the touch panel. Well, it's, it's two pieces. But I'm not going to complain because it's going to be 90 pieces of tape. Man, this is really something. Okay. Really something hardware wise. But then when you think about half a cent page for color, man. Alright. Power, power is already on, the home key is lit up. Nice numeric touchpad over here. Please wait. Okay, that's no ink cartridge. Open the ink cartridge cover and 
it's showing them that's located, it's over here. Yeah, that's showing me a picture. Open the cover. tab here for you to pull down on. Yep, and it does have a gazenta to this. Now it's showing you to go to you know, take this orange gazenta out. It's saying don't throw it away. And if you want to ship it, you don't want that. Don't throw well, it's blinking so fast I can't really see over there. Remove orange protective part. Do not throw away orange protective part. You will need it if you want to transport the machine. Okay, so let's start from this side, work our way over. Color coded magenta, cyan, yellow, black. And let's find magenta. And uh, ink vestment written on the cartridge. Arrow here, so I assume I want you to rip it there. Okay, there's a multi part thingy here. And a little arrow on this green thing, so push it this way and then slide it off. A little button here to and release it when you. Take it out. There's a chip here. You can see the ink in this little window here. And you slide it in, push it into the clicks. This plastic latch locks up into place really easy. Let's do cyan. Flip the green gazenta on the lever up the little arrow. Just pop this off. Put it in the color coded slot. Push it in until it latches into place and this gray lever goes up and locks it into place. Let's do yellow. This actually clicks when it's open all the way. Remove. In black. to help you get it open. So there's a notch right here. Same thing. Big giant one chip. Flip it open so it clicks. Chuck it. Probably want to save those too. Seal these back up if you need to. Slides in. All right, now it's telling me up here to close the cover. Preparing the system, approximately four minutes. It's probably going to pump in to put media in it eventually, but once again, we use copy, hammer mill copy plus, inexpensive, good performance, and it has color lock for the chip. So, there's two trays here. Here's your output tray. Actually, it doesn't go out that far. Considering that it does. Considering that it does A3 prints, it's not really going to come out very far. Which is alright with me. And the prints will come out here like this. 
but normally this is as far as we're going to have to go for, for letter size prints on that. So we probably need to have that flipped over as well. Maybe a tray. And this flips open so you can get media in there. And it has a lock on the side guides here. Right here. And it goes up to 11 inches wide. And it, not sure how they you can actually put the paper in this way which is outstanding which means you're going to get faster print speeds because the paper is going to go through short way instead of long way and you have a giant some orientation information here a sticker that shows you a four letter flip that up I don't know why you want it flipped up, but it says to do it because you've got this rear guide here. It can be set for A4 letter, and then it's also got this. I assume so you can you can put A A3 1117 in this adjustable tray. So I don't know what it looks like when you. So this pulls out, covers up the tray so you keep debris, small pets out of there from falling in there. It's really nice. In the meantime, let's set this back to the letter. And this bottom tray only holds A4 or, oh actually it also expands to ledger, there's green lever here, and it's got the same kind of trays, this is your A4 letter, it wants you to put the, it wants you to put the, the media in short edge first, which is just, that's just outstanding. I've never seen a uh, inkjet printer that you could do that. They always want you to put the media in like this. So it feeds 11 inches instead of 8.5 by 11. So, put this. This green lever is for A3, and it also expands the tray like this. So both trays will hold ledger size medium, which is outstanding. So it's saying load paper and press OK, so fortunately you have to take it out. I'm going to be able to load the media in here without taking it out. So, and this is kind of in the way. We'll get this set to A4 letter. And slide some media in here. There's two dangles sticking out on the side here, so you can't overfill it. it. Looks like they each hold 250 sheets, each one of these cassettes. Okay. Press OK. Printing. Also, says something about F SD here. Yeah. And then, oh man, you 
came out of a pick bridge USB port and an SD. It says Pro Duo next to it. I think those are Sony sticks. So you have two card slots, USB pick bridge port here under this little cover. Now it's asking me if print quality is okay. And one dot missing over here, but I don't think that's really an issue. I don't know if you can see it. Check that the dotted lines flowing in the four color blocks are all visible with no gaps. If okay, select yes on the control panel. If there's gaps, press no on the control panel and it'll clean. Now, it's slightly faded over here, but it got gets better. Came out like this, which means it, it kind of cleared itself up by the time it got to the top. So I'm going to say yes. Is print quality okay? Yes. Completed. Alright, now it's asking me to to enter the, the year and it's fifth Okay, month, oh, five, okay, date, I have no idea what the date is, I think it's the 27th, two, seven, okay, time, 11.45 a.m., And it already says AM is an AM PM button here. Okay. Press tray setting to set paper size and paper type for each tray. You're going to have to do this so that it knows. So it says tray one, tray two, tray one, tray use copy, tray use fax. So you can set different trays for copy and fax so tray one and a letter legal ledger A4 A5 A3 X EXE and 4 by 6 so there's a back button here so that's already set up tray two will also set up the letter and it doesn't look like there's paper types, just sizes, so okay. The machine has a manual feed slot located on the back, it supports sizes up to 11 by 17. To access more functions, swipe the home screen as shown. Okay. And over here we have fax, copy, scan, Wi-Fi, ink levels set up. And over here we have photo, print photos, web, whatever that means. Sh sh copy shortcuts. This feed, the web requires internet connection. Do you want to continue or no? Because we don't have a network set up yet. So Wi-Fi, set up wizard. Switch network interface to wireless, yes. Searching SSID. I heard it's WPS, ALSS, start, okay. I'm gonna have to get up and push the button on the router over here. Connecting WPS. I found it. That push button. WPS is great. And router, Wi Fi router. Once this connection failed. So, 
no, it's actually printing something again here. And Wi-Fi is lit up over there. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I could try it again. I don't want to waste your time. And I can also set it up during the uh, software installation process or manually. Let's see what it prints. All right, that's sand. Connection failed. And I couldn't detect it. WPS, probably because I didn't push the button hard enough on the, on the router. But I pushed the wrong button. But anyway, I don't really see I don't really see a problem with this. It was going to be easy enough to set up manually. So basically that's it. This is really nice. And my uh, brother did a heck of a job. Uh, this is a business smart pro series ink vestment printer. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.